Yeah, the telephones have become really, really influential. Um, as I looked through my writing, I realised that so much of my concern and um, involvement with trying to have a relationship with my daughter was through the telephone. Um, that could be unanswered phone calls, unreturned texts, missed calls, uh, answer machine messages. It's an Arts Council grant and it's given for artists to explore their practice and develop skills that they may, na may not already have or to explore areas of practice which they might not have looked at before. Um, it's very much um, an experimental opportunity so they definitely don't want you to produce a performance or come up with a, a finished piece. So it gives you, as an artist, an incredible opportunity to, to explore and, and to, to play, basically. I mean, who gets that opportunity a year to play with your ideas? So um, it, it, it means I can buy in people to teach me new things. I can pay myself to explore new ideas. I can go and see work, which, you know, things that I've not seen before, different ways of performing. So for me, the DYCP, my two main, um, my two main mm, ideas for wanting to look at were how to develop my skills to work with small scale audiences. Um, so to work in a more interactive way um, and the second idea was how to uh, develop movement or performance that comes from text, from my own personal story. So how to tell a story from text. And so that, that's always been a source of fascination for me and that's informed my writing throughout her 34 years. Um, and uh, the the idea of trying to get across that story to an audience, because the story is so personal and so visceral, um, I want to find ways that are really successful of telling that sort of a story with that sort of emotional load, so how to find the balance between sentimentality and <laughs> and, uh, and and being um, uh, uh, accessible to everybody in the audience, so that every Um, I did a performance with my daughter, with Hannah, in 2015, which was an Arts Council funded piece, uh, where we worked together and presented something in a very small space. And it was really successful and I got good feedback from it. And I wanted to do like the next stage, if you like. Um, and the next stage in my relationship with her is that she has since started to live independently um, and I have gone from being 100% enabler, supporter, inputter to being very removed, very distant and um, her uh, world has moved away from my world. Telephones suddenly became her whole story from, from her birth uh, when I was phoning people to tell them about her disability. You know, um, good news, or is it, hey, the good news, hey, the bad news, hey, the complicated news. So immediately you've got the complexity of her life, bringing her up, the relationship and the impact that her disability has had on that. Um, and then the Chatterphone is about teaching her, teaching her to communicate, um, getting her to pick up the phone, answer the phone when she was tiny, uh, playing with her, the dial, so fine motor skills, all the rest of it, taking turns with conversation, so the Fisher-Price phone has become really relevant. And of course now, 
something that I'm never separated from, my mobile phone, which is like the lifeline. Um, and the uh, both the lifeline and the absence of the lifeline when she doesn't answer. Really, that they were props. Um, and then seeing Rachel Coley's work at the Sight Gallery and this light bulb moment of actually giving the audience the experience, I thought, well, I've got telephones, you know, you know, everybody has a mobile phone, so how can I use these wonderful machines as um, not just props, but as the uh, vehicle for my uh, ability to communicate with an audience? And that's when my DYCP started getting really serious because it meant that I was now exploring how to use technology, not just how to use it as a, as a nice prop, but how to actually use the technology to, to tell my story or for the audience to experience my truth themselves. started to talk to technicians, app designers, um, telephone engineers about how phones actually work. How can I wire up 12 phones so that the audience each has, a, has one of these and they speak to me uh, uh, through their phone? Um, how could I even, how could I do a performance where I wasn't even...